Scrappy Peeps, Susanna here today for Spiegel Mom Scraps to share with you another flowers and packaging layout. This is the layout that I created and I created a shaker pocket using four different types of sequins from the Spiegel Mom Scraps store. So that piece of cardstock you can see there, I had nibbled out a little corner and um, I felt I could still use it, so I just covered it with that piece of floral paper there from Crepe Paper. Um, and because this is a color that I really love, I am also going to gut the middle of this paper so that on the off chance that I wanted to use the same color for a title, which I often do, I have that available to me knowing that I don't have another piece of that pattern paper. I am using a large photo and I am going to, I believe this is printed on an eight and a half by 11 photo sheet. And so I'm just going to put adhesive all around the outer edges of that photo and put it on this 12 by 12 background that I've created from that cardstock with the hole in it and that piece of pattern paper. And this layout really looks simple, um, but most of the detail of the layout is on that left hand side. So I'm going to create a banner there. And the way the banner just ties the color and moves your eye from that left hand side of the goodies that are going to be there on the left to the large photo of my daughter and the horse over to the right hand side there. So I'm just free handing a heart and I'm going to cut that heart out of both the packaging and this is lawn fong packaging. You can see the arrows uh, that were on top of it. And I'm just fussy cutting the heart out of both the vellum, which is sitting on top of that lawn fawn packaging there. And then what I'm going to do is choose some sequins that I'm going to use to fill the heart with. And so I'm going to have uh, four different sequence types in there because I want the four different colors to match the colors that are in that pattern paper from crepe paper on the right hand side. So I'm going to take the aquas and the pinks. This is what I'm using here first from Wild and Free, the Wild and Free mix. And then I'm going to uh, get some sunny smiles. That's what this is here. And I'm going to take some of the yellows from there, which match the yellow and the flowers. The third mix that I'm going to use is Road Trips and Sunshine. And you can see that that's um, a tealy combination. So I'm going to put just a little bit of that to match the little bit of the teal that's in there. And then I want a little bit of pink wood grain, um, the pink flowers, and some white, and that is going to come from Spring Wedding. So you can see how I mix and match pieces, and I'm going to put that vellum back on and run upstairs to my sewing machine with a white thread and literally just run all the way around the outside border of that. And that leaves me a really awesome shaker pocket um, using the recycled packaging as the background and then the vellum on top. So now I want to add a little bit more decoration to this layout. Uh, I find this banner and I'm going to end up nestling my title there and a flower and just layer this up to uh, add a little bit more depth and a little bit more visual interest to the picture and the layout itself. The photo in, in the video here looks very, very dark in that bottom left-hand corner. We were inside in the barn and there was no lights on. Um, so it was dark in there, but it's not quite as dark when you see, you can see the shadows in the picture, um, but it needed something down the bottom there to just not make it look like this deep dark hole that she was standing in. Um, and that's why I decided to put all these embellishments on the bottom left hand corner of the page here. So you can see I trimmed out the packaging there um, and preserved what was left that said Lawn Fawn so that I knew when I used those arrows that they came from Lawn Fawn. These are some stickers from Ellie's studio. It's that brighter pink that is found in the florals on the right hand side and I thought that it just tied everything nicely together. Now I will tell you that um, I am going to adhere this down and I will actually pull it up because I wanted in this layout that is the only banner that is going up the right hand side there and it looks really really boring. So I didn't notice how 
kind of bland it looked until I turned the camera off. So off camera, I will go in and I'm going to put in a yellow stripe that coordinates um, and I'm going to turn that pink into a banner, which I, do, I believe I do on the video, but I'm going to put in a yellow banner as well as um, from the dollar spot at Michael's, I got this notepad that says notes in that matching aqua tealy color and I'm going to write, uh, actually type my journaling onto that and you'll see that in the close-ups and I'm sorry that I don't do that on video. So I fussy cut a few of the flowers because I don't know that I have any of the ephemera or anything left from this collection but I had left over that I trimmed so a great way to get more embellishment if you don't have it is to go ahead and fussy cut it so I just fussy cut a few of those flowers to pull a color over to that left hand side and I'm going to adhere those down and then um, th next will be where I pull up that pink. I actually cut the stuff that's under the heart because the paper that I use is matte photo paper that I print at home on. And so it's very much like paper. And so things that get stuck down pretty much stay stuck down. I have my big kick here and I'm going to just use an edge um, to make it look like a machine stitched edge to just give it a little bit more interest. I thought that might be enough but it doesn't end up being enough and I am going to end up putting those two other things in so that I have that trio and all of the colors are pulled from the left to the right there. So I'm going to insert that back into the page um, and I know that I'm still missing something. I just can't figure out what it is that I'm missing. Um, as I'm creating this page. So that's when when you stand back and you take a look at things, you can sometimes get a better idea of what it is that you want to add to the page. Uh, and I, I'm sorry I didn't turn the camera back on when I added those things. So I am going to take a couple of stickers. See, you can see that I know I want something. I just can't figure out what it is. So I do put a couple of things in just they don't end up being what I end up sticking with. So four sequence mixes into a handmade shaker pocket uh, for today's video. I hope you enjoy this process video. I am glad to have you join me here at Spiegel Mom Scraps. Be sure to uh, subscribe if you don't already. Thanks for joining me. Enjoy the close-ups. Take care. <laughs>